Hello and welcome back to Picks and Portraits. Today's video is going to be an interesting one, a spooky one, given we are fast approaching Halloween. It concerns the occult, witchcraft, as well as a less common form of stop motion, sand animation. We are going to be looking at Giselle and Naj and Sorge's Sabbat. I know this is not the most well-known piece of animation, but it is definitely interesting and uh, seasonally appropriate if you are looking to watch something a little different this Halloween. Before we get into that though, I'd like to give a little bit of time to the medium of sand animation because again, not the most common. It is a technique that involves manipulating and photographing sand against an illuminated backdrop like a light box uh, or a piece of glass. Just like stop motion, an image is set and photographed. This is repeated multiple times to create a sequence. Sand animation was developed in the 1960s by animator Caroline Leaf while she was a student at Harvard. We are seeing her work here. Much of it was produced in collaboration with the NFB, the National Film Board of Canada, which we are currently working our way through, <laughs> the animated output uh, of the NFB over on Patreon, and we'll be diving into her work uh, further there. Other prominent sand animators include Elliot Noyes, who some of you who grew up on Sesame Street may recognize, and Alexandra Kanafaskaya, who creates a lot of really interesting sand art live. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sand animation can be created live using a similar setup, sand, a light box, and a projector. The focus of this video, though, is going to be on Giselle and Ernest, or Naj and Sorge. Giselle and Naj were a married couple that produced films together. He was Swiss, she was French. Their distinct style comes from the use of black silica sand, also known as quartz sand, which is used to make glass. Now, it was not easy <laughs> tracking down their work. This was actually the only other short of theirs I could find, 1967's Les Corbeaux, or The Ravens. This is pretty dark. We see the crimes of a criminal, as well as the pursuit that leads to his capture and eventual execution. The short ends with Ravens uh, consuming him uh, off of a noose. Upsetting, <laughs> but some uh, pretty fantastic animation here. Well, not exactly horror themed, uh, stylistically it is creepy. The black sand definitely creates a mood, as we will see further in Sabat. This was produced in 1991. The theme here is the occult, magic, uh, black magic, witches, which lends itself very well to animation. Anime is full of witches, uh, Kiki, Belladonna of Sadness, as is Western animation, Witch Hazel. The depiction of witches here uh, is much darker though, rooted in folklore. Sabat is a silent film, but the plot is pretty straightforward. It captures or expresses a Sabat. Uh, a Sabat is the witch's Sabbath, when witches gather together with the devil to take part in different kinds of rituals. This term is also used in paganism for the celebrations that coincide with the changing of the seasons. Their Wheel of the Year, as it's known, is organized into eight different sections or seasons, beginning with Yule, the winter solstice, and ending with Samhain, Halloween. I'm no expert on this, so feel free to correct uh, or elaborate uh, on this down below. This film is wild. <laughs> it takes place in the Middle Ages and follows the women of a town as they are beckoned out into the woods for a Sabbath. Here, they frolic with the devil and each other. Uh, there's a lot of frolicking going on. The animation is very fluid. Images drift and blend together from one scene to the next, just like a dream. The black sand feels sinister and is used against the illuminated background to create some really interesting effects. I love what they do with the fire, how they convey its flickering. It looks great. Uh, same with the moon. <laughs> it is very unsettling. The jittery way the characters move really complements the ominous tone of the short. Texturally, it's also unnerving. The sand definitely gives it a sort of uh, conjuring effect, like a witch is manipulating the earth and showing us these visions. There is something otherworldly about it. The soundtrack is also awesome, uh, very menacing, full of dread. Uh, it is worth mentioning, though, uh, that there is a lot of suggestive material. Uh, this is not for children. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, do not watch this at work, but I definitely recommend it to anyone with an interest in animation uh, or the occult. It is absolutely terrifying, and I love it. It is here on YouTube. I will post a link in the description if you want to check it out. Let me know what you think. Kind of a quick one, but if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, share it, subscribe if you haven't. Also check out some of our older Halloween themed content for more spooky animation. I didn't post it on here, but Nightmare Core 2021 is also available for free over on Patreon. We do this every year. This takes Sleepcore in a more distressing direction. Uh, it's very good. Please watch it. 
We also have a ton of exclusive videos and series over there, including Century of Schlock, an exploration of 100 years of animated smut. Also, as mentioned earlier, animating the board, running through the animated output of the NFB. Just $5 a month gets you access to those and dozens of other videos and helps keep these videos coming out more regularly. That's patreon.com slash pixandportraits. As always, thank you so much for interest in this channel, and thanks for watching. Stay spooky.